If you are a Windows user who wants to experience the aesthetics and functionality of macOS, you are definitely in the right place. Hi, I'm Tech Enthusiast and I make technology-oriented videos. Today I will show you a few simple steps that you can apply to Windows, making it look like macOS. With that said, get subscribed, leave a like down below and let's get started right after a quick message from today's video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Keysfine.com. Keysfine is an online platform for digital products. On their website you can get keys for useful products like Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Microsoft Office and other keys for very reasonable prices. However, if you want to buy Windows 11 Pro key and use my discount code TE56, you can get yourself Windows 11 Pro at 56% discount. Quick note, this is not the only discount code you can use, so make sure that you check the links in the video description down below. Before we start, here's a quick disclaimer. So, in case if something goes wrong, I highly recommend to you guys that you create a system restore point because then it will act like a safety net in case if something goes wrong. So how do you guys create a system restore point? It's quite simple. Go to your start menu and search for the restore point and here we have an option create a restore point. Now here we can also see that I have the system protection turned off. Now we will need to configure that by clicking on the configure button. Then you will need to turn on system protection, click OK. And now you have an option to create a system restore point. Click on the create and now you can basically name your system restore point. So I will call it macOS and then we can click create. So in case if something goes wrong, you can easily revert back to this restore point. And now let's get started with the customization of the Windows taskbar. So probably you guys are all familiar with the Mac OS dock and here Windows 11 has the taskbar. Unfortunately, customizing Windows taskbar to the Mac OS dock isn't possible without any third party software. So to fix this issue, we can use this program, which is called start all back. Now this program isn't free, but you have, I believe 30 day trial. Now we can also buy it for $5, I believe. So make sure that you go to this web page, which I will also put a link in video description down below and make sure that you hit this download button to get the Xe installer file. Once you have the Xe installer, click on open file. And then here I recommend that you install this program for everyone. Click on this one, click yes on the admin prompt. And then you should see right away how the taskbar actually changed. Now let's go to the settings of the start all back. So you can already see a few of the options here. I will go through the taskbar customization and also the Windows Explorer. So let's get away with the Explorer first. Here what I recommend is that you select Windows 7 command bar and then make sure that you enable details pane on bottom and also colorize everything with accent color. Now with all this selected, then you can navigate to the taskbar. And what I recommend here is that you select the icon size to the large and icon margins to the XS option. Now after that, you can select here centered task icons and also make sure that you select here segments. So with this segments option enabled, click here on this menu and make sure that you select just central segment. So you will get rid of the left weather widget and also the system tray icons in the bottom right. Now with that done, we can also customize our start icon. So here are some of the pre-installed options, but here today I will go with the custom option. So here you will need to go to your web browser and make sure that you search for Nivu. And on his DeviantArt account, make sure that you select Mac for Windows 11 22H2 and this is his brand new customization pack for Windows 11. So make sure that you create an account for DeviantArt and then make sure that you click on this green download arrow. Once you have the zip from Nivu, make sure that you click on the open file and then you can just copy this to your downloads folder. And after that, make sure that you go to the start all back configurator and make sure that you select here this plus to get the actual custom 
start menu image. So now we will go to downloads folder, macOS for Windows, so the extracted folder from Nivu. And here make sure that you select start all back orbs. And here I will select Windows Lite. Click open here and now you should see this icon immediately in start all back configurator. Click on it and then you should be good to go. Here you can already see that we have this brand new icon in the bottom left for the Windows start menu. After the taskbar customization, we still need to get the menu bar on the top of our Windows 11, which macOS usually has. So to fix that, we will need to install the rain meter, or if you have the rain meter installed, make sure that it's actually running in the background. And to get the menu bar, we will need to use a rain meter skin, which is called drop top four. So here on this website, make sure that you click on this download button. And now you can also get the supporter version, which is for $6 or the free version, which I will go with. So click on the download base version and now the .rm skin file should start downloading. And once it's complete, make sure that you click on it and then you can install this rain meter skin. So after the installation of the skin, you can also see this first screen. Here I will click continue. Here I will select the English language and here you have three options basically. Always show drop top, auto hide and desktop only. Here I will go with always show drop top. Here you can also configure the drop top 4. So here I will go with the Spotify as preferred media player. Here then I will click continue and here I will select this Apple icon and also the size for the drop down bar to the mini. Click continue here and after that I will just pick the default theme. Here you can also select maybe later and then we are all set. Click finish on the setup and the drop top 4 should appear on your desktop. So here you can see this menu bar at the top. If I for example right now full screen the Microsoft Edge, you can also see the drop top 4 at the top. But if you aren't fan of this bar at the top while in the full screen application, you can also go here to the Apple and then you can select here options and select here change mode and make sure that you select only show on the desktop. So this bar will basically show only on the desktop. And now if I full screen the Microsoft Edge, the bar should be completely gone. With the macOS menu bar customization complete, we still need to get the widgets on our Windows desktop. So to fix this issue, we can use this widget pack or rain meter skin. This one you can get by clicking on the releases page here on the GitHub and make sure that you select Monterey 1.0 of this Rainmeter skin file. Click on this one and the download should start. And once it's complete, make sure that you click on the .arm skin file. And after that, you can install this skin. Once the installation is complete, you should see this welcome window. And after that, we can go straight to the widget option here. So here I will add clock to my desktop as well as the calendar monitoring and weather. So after that, you should see a few pop-ups on your top left of your screen. Click continue on each and single one of them. Click continue and now you should see a few of the widgets. So here I will place them all here on the right of my screen as well as this system monitoring and the weather widget and also the calendar widget. And for both this one and for the calendar widget, I will right click and make sure that you select here white. So this widget will then expand and also the same option for the calendar widget. So make sure that you select here white, but if you want, you can also select, for example, here large and the widget would be much larger. I just preferred the white option for now. So if you want, you can also customize these widgets further by going here to the appearance tab and selecting the theme. For example, you can change this one to color and all the widgets will then change its appearance. But I think that the blur option looks the best in my opinion. Then if you have the laptop like me right now, you can also go here to the battery and make sure that you turn on low power mode to save on your precious juice. So this is pretty much it for the widget, but we still need to get the spotlight search 
from the macOS on Windows. So how do you get that is quite simple. Make sure that you open the Microsoft Store and search for the Power Toys. And this app is first party app because it's from Microsoft Corporation. Here, make sure that you click install. So after the installation of Microsoft Power Toys, you should see the screen, which looks something like this. What I personally recommend is that you click here on the bottom, restart Power Toys as administrator, and then make sure that you guys also enable always run as admin. So this will get rid of some issues if you have any with the Microsoft Power Toys. And the one tool which is quite handy or it's quite similar to the Mac OS, it's called Microsoft Power Toys Run. And this tool, it will basically mimic the Mac OS Spotlight Search on Windows. So how do you enable it is basically with this shortcut, which you can also customize by your own liking. Here, the default shortcut is Alt plus space. So let me show you how it actually works. So here, if I press Alt plus space, now you should see this window pop up. And then if we search, for example, for the Microsoft Edge. Now here we have the Microsoft Edge application and then we also have, I believe, an option from the running processes or we can also search the web in the our default uh, browser, which is currently set on the Microsoft Edge. And uh, with that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe to the channel would be much appreciated. And you can also buy me a coffee on coffee.com, link in the video description. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.